Leaders of a local development company say they are no strangers to investing in something called opportunity zones. Yeah, but the Associated Press recently actually questioned their efforts after President Donald Trump honored a veteran at the State of the Union address earlier this month who was once homeless. Now that man, Tony Rankins, and his employer are talking about it with our own Whitney Miller. She joins us now live, and Whitney, what can you tell us? Well, the Associated Press says Tony Rankin's story of success isn't exactly true, but his employer, our investment, says not so fast. Tony Rankins does live and work in an opportunity zone, and his company is making a way for the homeless. But something good is happening, so I always try to pour salt on it. So. Tony Rankin says he was disappointed to learn questions about his story popped up earlier this month after the president recognized him during the State of the Union address. Rankins was homeless when he was offered a job with our investments. The company gave him housing and a job as a tradesman in Nashville. Rankins later transferred to Cincinnati to work on another project with the company. That project is in an opportunity zone, an area the federal government has designated worthy of tax breaks for revitalization. When we met Tony, we were not working in an actual opportunity zone, and we were actually working across the street, literally 200 yards from an opportunity zone. Opportunity zones were why the president invited Rankins to the State of the Union. It's also why the Associated Press has questions. The point of the matter, in my opinion, is that we've been working in these areas that are now considered opportunity zones for the last 14 years. Travis Steffens owns the company and says the AP's questions are a distraction from the positive work he is doing to help give the homeless a second chance. For the last three and a half to four years, uh, we've been taking homeless people off the streets, housing them in the projects that we're working in, giving them the tools of the trade. Steffens is about to renovate this warehouse in Camp Washington. He's using an opportunity zone tax credit to turn it into an academy where the homeless will learn life skills and trade work. When the people graduate, they're guaranteed job placement within our enterprises, working throughout um, opportunity zones in the rough areas of the country all across the country. They would live and work there in a 90 day program building tiny homes for other opportunity zones. I want to lead the way and to how to focus in these areas to make sure that gentrification doesn't become a problem, to make sure that displacement isn't a problem and that we're truly focusing on the people first. Now that academy would be here in this warehouse. Stefan says it's a 90 day program and afterwards those men and women would be guaranteed a job with his company. He hopes to break ground next month. For now in Camp Washington, Whitney Miller, WCPO 9 News.